Today is daily cyber number 89. I got a little bit of a longer video to do today. Um, and it's in context of kind of cybersecurity awareness, our cybersecurity self-defense that we need to start doing it on ourselves and, and, and really being serious about. I'm gonna go into a little bit now, but I'm gonna actually go into uh, more in depth later. Um, just at, if you can see in the background, just at the driving range. Uh, and it's, I think around seven o'clock right now. What we need to be aware of is the information that we're talking about, personal identifiable information, or it's just confidential information in, in common areas. And I think what's happening, and, and to give you context, I was out at Whole Foods um, over the weekend, and I was eating, just having lunch on my own, and as I was eating, and I just was going through the cybersecurity and uh, CompTIA Security Plus, and I was hearing people's conversations, and I think as I start to do more cybersecurity, I start to... You know, just like a self-defense course, if you took a self-defense course, you start to be more aware of the things around you, what you're doing, your your awareness, you know, what other people are doing, if you're in the right environment. And what I found was as I was going, I was listening to people's conversations. I was eavesdropping. And not in the sense that it was hard to do. I mean, people were talking out loud and I was maybe three or four tables away and I could hear people's conversations. Right? Very clearly. And what I was hearing was a lot of confidential information or personal identifiable information or information that I potentially could compromise people. And I'll give you some context about that a little bit later. But what really kind of scared me was that thinking like a criminal, thinking like a hacker, if I sat there for a week, two weeks, you know, or maybe even just found out people's schedules in the sense of when the people that are most compromised if it's from a company that come there. Maybe they go to, and I'm just gonna use Whole Foods as an example, but the Whole Foods is not a bad place. It's just a common area I'm going to select, right, for this scenario. But say it's Whole Foods and down the street there's a company that goes there for lunch every Tuesday. Well, if I know that by going there Monday to Friday and seeing the day and doing it the next week, Monday to Friday, and I see the same people on certain days, I can start creating profiles, right? And I can start overhearing conversation. I can look at their tags as they come in, like maybe they have identity tags or whatever, right? And I can start going, okay, you know, I can sit there, be nonchalant, and just listen to people's conversations and hear what they're talking about and hear what they're talking about company. And, and, and maybe even they're, they're talking about their positions and what they're doing. Oh my God, I hate, you know, I hate sales. I hate HR. I hate this. I hate that. Okay, so they're part of either the sales or HR team or something along that line. And I could create a profile on them, the company, that I could potentially compromise the company, the people, whatever. And it's scary because I think in society we've let down our filters, our guards, right, on what we should be talking about in kind of close proximity and closed doors and keeping confidential. And I'm gonna talk a little bit more about this and go a little bit in more in depth. But I want you to think about that as you're watching this video. Do you really do that? And I, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm guilty of it as well. And I, I, I'm being more aware of it. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm doing these video logs. And yes, I'm, I'm releasing some, some confidential and, and personal information. And not too much personal identifiable information, but enough that, I mean, you could find out where I am. You know, you could find out what location or city I'm in. Like, there's things that if you really want to do dig, dive deep, you could. I mean... I'm doing these videos as educational tools and to show you my journey and what I'm doing. If I was truly following the cybersecurity path, I'd go dark. I'd go completely dark and, and, you, and scrub my profiles and all that. But we live in a day and age that you kind of have to live in both realms. You have to live in both worlds. But you have to be mindful what information you're relaying, what information you're providing. So... Like I said, I'm going to go a little bit deeper uh, later into it, but I want you to think about that. What personal identifiable information, what confident information, what security questions have you asked, been asked on websites that now you potentially have talked about in a common area? Mother's maiden name, anniversary date, high school you went to, your pet's name, 
Think about that. Have you have you mentioned them in a common area? Have you been talking that in public? Right? And have you been doing it like do you have a routine that potentially can be compromised? So just think about that. And I I, I know this is like ooh scary whatever, you know, you're being paranoid. Am I really? If we look at all the things that are happening in this day and age, people being compromised, our identity being stolen, all that, and you hear it about time and time again, I'm sure if not you or someone you know has their has had their identity stolen. But have they had their identity stolen because they're they've been compromised at a public location that they just didn't realize? Something to think about. So I'm gonna take off. I gotta go to the drive range practice. I got a game this week. But yeah, I'll continue this video and talk about it a little bit later. This video is going to be a little bit longer, but I wanted to give you some some information, some guidance, and some cybersecurity awareness so that you can start making decisions and implement and be aware of your surroundings. Okay, so I'm going to continue with uh, what I was talking about this morning. Uh, busy day. Uh, did a little bit of studying, not as much as I should, uh, to be completely transparent. Uh, just a lot of stuff catching up. Today is my kind of Monday. So generally a busy day of doing like a lot of paperwork and catching up and organizing things. Uh, so going back into personal identifiable information, confidential information, and common areas. I'm getting ready just so you know why I'm in my kitchen. Uh, the reason why is I got to start cooking dinner and I wanted to get everything prepared uh, so I can have dinner in about half an hour. So I'm going to try to make this quick. Uh, I don't want to make it too long because there's a lot to cover in my mind and I'm just gonna lay it out. So, when we're looking at personal identifiable information, confidential information, look in the sense of what you use to secure any of your um, platforms, areas, places you log in, websites, uh, any area that you, you try to gain access to that has levels of security. So we can talk about bank accounts, uh, email, software as a service, all these other infrastructure uh, sites where they might have layer uh, two point of, uh, of authentication, they might have security questions. And what you really want to do is you want to look at, and I'll, we'll be specific about looking at security questions, because this will kind of, I hope, hit home. Uh, when you're looking at security questions, go through these security questions, and I'll give you some examples that I know off the top of my head. If they ask you, you know, where were you born? Uh, what's your Grandparents' maiden's name, what's your parents' maiden name, what's your dog's name, what's your favorite movie, what's uh, the high school you went to. So they're asking all these questions. So now what I want you to do is this. I want you to go to one of these sites to ask you these security questions. And I want you to write the questions down and I want you to write your answers down. Then I want you to go to your social sites. And I want you to see if you can do an investigation on yourself and see if you can find those answers. These, this is the way hackers think. That people are going to compromise you. And right? we'll, talk about, we'll talk about black hat hackers. Right? People that want to do malicious intent to hurt you or harm you. So if you can find, you can look at those questions and you can find the answers on public social sites and you think, okay, well maybe my Facebook, and I'll use Facebook as an example. I mean, your Facebook's secure, no one can get it, you've hid your profile. But what if I become a friend of another one of your friends who is completely open, who is part of a marketing company or business and they're trying to market to everyone, connect with everyone, their friend, their family members, you name it, it doesn't matter, worldwide they're just friending everyone. Well what if I can connect with them and through them I see your actions and what you're doing? This is a way that you can get compromised, right? And this is what I'm saying, you have to look at how you're relating this information. I'm showing you on social sites, I'm giving this example, but now let me ask you this. What if you're in a common area and you're talking about certain things? You're talking about your family, your friends, your dog, your anniversary. You know, you're talking about what you did this weekend with your husband, your significant other, whatever that may be, your kids. And you're in a common area where people can overhear you. And now, through that conversation, I, as a black hat hacker, for example, I'm an ethical hacker, so I'm not... But as an example, if I'm a black hat hacker, maybe I want to corrupt you in some way. I'm looking at, you know, I don't like the company you work for, I don't like yourself, whatever. I am looking to make some more money, I'm trying to do whaling, which whaling is looking after big fish, people with lots of money, whatever that may be. Say I'm looking to compromise you, right? Now, 
cybersecurity awareness on your side, you've done the investigation, you've looked at all your questions, you've done the investigation, you found out what you can be compromised on, so you can see that side, but on the other side, this yin and yang, the light and the dark, the dark side now is, well, how do hackers think? Well, hackers, from my understanding, from what I'm reading and researching, and I'm not uh, a black hat hacker, but I've been, in IT, uh, I've been in security, physical security, long enough to see how the, the, the dark side, the criminal minds thinks, how they break into things, how to break into cars, why they break into cars. And I'll give an example, you know, when I was working at a, in a really bad neighborhood, I was finding out like between 2 o'clock a.m. and 4 o'clock a.m. in the area that I was working security in, there was a lot of stolen cars showing up at this time. I was like, oh my God, like what's going on? Like I have to call the police and they have to get a tow truck and they have to tow it out. And I'm like three, four cars a night in this area. And then and what, the back windshield was broken or the back uh, window was broken. Driver's side or me, driver's side mostly, not passenger side, but driver's side back window was normally broken. And what happened when, it, when you looked in, sure enough, the ignition was popped out and, and there were a screwdriver was put into it. So you're kind of going, okay, why are these guys doing it? So as I was doing my patrols, I'd see some of the guys there and I'd start a conversation because I wanted to investigate and understand the criminal mind. Well, some of these guys were just coming home from clubs and they didn't have a ride. So they broke into these cars and drove home and nothing and the police weren't going to be able to do anything to them. So they didn't care. So it was like that mindset. So let's go back to cybersecurity awareness. So the criminal mindset for hacking and compromising someone's identity, well, who's going to know? If I can log in with their username and password and identity, who's going to know? Who's going to come after me? It's only X amount of dollars and who cares? I'm comrades. Or it could be for chits and giggles that they want some sort of props. Like, hey, I, I hacked this person's account. Watch this. Who knows? Who knows their mindset? But there's different silos of uh, thinking. One is just for shits and giggles because they're just it's for fun. Two is maybe because they want to do it because they have ill will or in, in, ill intent. And then there's the other one, maybe they're doing it for financial gain and, and monetary. And there's other, other aspects, but we'll just use those three for now. Through cybersecurity awareness or self-defense awareness, if you train yourself and understand you know, what to look for, you know what to protect. And you know what not to do. This is no different if you go into a self-defense course and they tell you about being aware of your surroundings. Look at, you know, you know if you're going to a criminal area or a crime-ridden area, right? You're more safe in the sense of not going there after dark, making sure you don't go there. If you have to drive through, lock your doors and do all these great things. You know, if you're going to an area that you don't trust, don't go through there. Like, go around. See, do to, uh, different detours, different routes. Like, all these different things that we do to make sure that we're safe. Well, we need to do that online because being public in an environment, in a city, no different from being on the internet, right? Being on the internet is just a, a population of people. It's servers and people in communities and people conversating and people trying to get access to different sites, social sites, websites, data, whatever that may be. And what happens is we're congregating on this place with light and dark, yin and yang type of people. So you have to be mindful of what you're putting out there. And I understand this, and I ran a marketing company since 2000, 2006 to 2016. So I understand if you're looking there and going, well, I have a business, and I have to put it out there, and I have to market, and I do all this, and I have to do video logs, and I have to get my brand out there, and I have to build my brand identity, and blah, 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 blah. I understand that, and it stopped. All right? What I want to tell you is that you have to find out the balance. You have to find out what you want to put out that's going to be out you, your development, your business, and then what you, you want to protect to make sure that they're secure. Now, I'll give you a prime example if you're thinking that mindset. Well, watch Gary Vanderchuk. He really doesn't show his family, his kids, and things like that on that line. He talks about them briefly, little bits here and there, but doesn't show them that much because it's all about him. It's about his business, Vanier Media, his business you know, accolades and his mindset and all that. And that's the value he wants to, you know, provide and, and give out through his social sites. And then he wants to protect the rest. No different from what you're doing. No different from what I'm doing with the video logging. I'm giving you, trying to give you as much value as I'm doing the video logging learning. But also I'm protecting certain assets and identities because there's no need to have them out there and make them insecure. 
And if they want to do it on their own, they, they can do it. But I'm trying to protect, you know, different assets. So for me, the main goal of this video today is do your research. L learn cybersecurity awareness. If you have any questions, comment below. I'll do my best to answer them. But through this process, through my video logs, this, again, this is why I'm doing cybersecurity is to help protect people. So I'm going to finish the video there. I know this is a long video. Just remember, software is hackable. Being connected is vulnerable. I'll see you next video.